I know I'm wearing the same outfit as my last video. Oh, I'm bleeding! Oh no, I'm bleeding! I'm bleeding so bad! I fixed it. Oh, I know I'm wearing the exact same outfit as I did in my last video, and it's because uh, this camera is getting taken away from me, so I'm trying to film as many videos as I can so that I can pump them all out to you before I get a new camera. On one of my videos, this girl named Emily Turner commented and she asked, she said, uh, she's assuming that it's type 1 diabetes that I have. What is your opinion on getting tattooed, tattooed while being diabetic? I was diagnosed about 11 years ago when I was nine and I have tattoos now, but for years all my doctors said it was such a bad idea, etc. So I was actually planning on making a video like this uh, in the past, but now that you mentioned it, I, uh, you know, I want to help you out as much as I can so I'm gonna tell you my story uh, so I was diagnosed when I was 10 years old I don't really know anything else other than diabetes it's been pretty much my whole life when I decided that I wanted to get tattoos I was older than 10 of course I was about 15 or 16 and I'm still bleeding I didn't actually go see a doctor I probably should have but I have never in my life heard anything about getting tattoos or being diabetic I think that if you're well managed and you know how to take care of yourself then I don't think that there's really any reason why you shouldn't be getting tattoos. I mean, there are some things to keep in the back of your mind when you are going in for maybe a three, four, five hour session or longer than that. Uh, definitely take a snack with you, eat before you go, make sure your blood sugars are fine. Uh, you don't want to be dropping low in that chair for sure. This, uh, Emily says that her doctor said it was a bad idea and I have never ever in my life heard that. I go to diabetes clinics, diabetes clinics, diabetes, I said that right, all the time and I, you know, I wear sleeveless tops and they are always like, yeah, your tattoos look great and I've never heard anything about not getting tattooed while being a diabetic. Make sure that you know how to handle yourself if you are going to be sitting in a chair for more than like three or four hours. Your levels can definitely severely drop or go extremely high in that short period of time. You want to make sure that, you know, you are prepared for whatever may may be. There has been a time where I was sitting in the chair and I got low and my friend would run out and grab me a juice and whatever. As long as you have a plan for when you're sitting in that chair and you know where your levels are, then I think you're going to be fine. And always, I find that the adrenaline makes my levels go high. I find that all the time that my levels are high when I'm getting tattooed. I'm on a pump, so I usually keep my pump on. I, I'm constantly checking it. Like, I check it once an hour when I'm getting tattooed. I really don't want to go too, too high or go too, too low, so I'm constantly checking it. That's just how I do it, as I just check it all the time. Yeah, I mean, I've never heard anything bad about it. Don't let diabetes hold you back from getting tattoos or pretty much doing whatever you want. As long as you're taking care of yourself and you're happy, then you're good. That is it. Um, if you guys have any other suggestions, I do have a list. I'm writing all these suggestions down that you guys gave me so that I can get around to filming all of these. If there are a couple weeks in between each video, it's because I am in the process of getting a new camera. Uh, so hopefully that one is going to be bigger and better and I'm going to be able to film a lot more things for you guys. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe and I will see you along in the next video. See you later. Bye bye.